Okay, so now we've set up the Matic main network on MetaMask. And as you guys can remember, in the top section here on the RPCs, we've set up Matic main network. Now, the thing is, if you haven't seen this video, just go and check it. It's the one before this. Or if you can't find it, just search for how to set up the Matic main network on MetaMask. But now today I'm going to show you how to buy the Matic token. And if we just have a brief look at Etherscan, this is the ERC20 token for Matic. You can see that there are uh, 10 billion Matic tokens. And this is the actual contract, right? And here's the contract address that we can copy. And the reason why I want to show you guys this before we buy Matic, because there are two places that Matic can exist. And to illustrate that, I'm just quickly going to go to Transact. Transact is a nice service where you can buy cryptocurrency with fiat. So if we go on buy crypto and just wait for it to quickly load, we'll be able to see uh, what we can buy, right? So let's say I want to buy some Matic with um, Transact and I'm going to select the Matic token. Now, this is what I want to show you here. You see there's two Polygon Matic tokens. So Polygon is the network and Matic is the token. But what we want to do is we really want to, at the end of the day, buy this one. We want to buy Matic on the Matic network, the Polygon network, because they rebranded. But the one that says Matic here, <clears throat> the one that says Ethereum over there means that it's sitting on the Ethereum network. Right. And for me to illustrate that, what we can do, and that's why I have Etherscan open, I wanted to copy this address so I can show you what they mean when they show you those two options. At the top here on my MetaMask, you can see that we are on the Matic main network currently. And you can see my Matic token balance. Right. But if we switch to Ethereum main network, we can see that there's our Ethereum. But the reason why Transact gives you those two options is because if I add a custom token here at the bottom and say cool, custom and I paste the Matic token address in here, you can see that it automatically tries and fills up the, to the symbol and the decimal. If it doesn't do that for you, just make sure you have the correct um, contract address. But also if it doesn't do that, you can fill these in. And if we go add token, you can see if we go back now, I've got a Matic token right here. Now this might look cool because it has the logo and <laughs> you know it, it's on the Ethereum main network, but you won't be able to really do a lot with this Matic sitting on the Ethereum network because normally a lot of the dApps that are built on the Polygon network uses Matic token that's on the Polygon network. For instance, if we just go to QuickSwap, which is a dApp, that uses the Polygon network, you can see that we can't really swap anything. We don't have any balances in here. And right here at the, at the right corner, it says switch to Matic. What this basically means is we can either click here and it will switch automatically, or we can click on our MetaMask and we can decide to switch to our Matic main network. Meaning that we will be using our balance that's sitting in Matic tokens on the Polygon network, right? The Matic network, now known as Polygon. But if we click back, you can see that my address has filled up. And here we go. There is the balance. Now, this might be confusing at first because you can see that here's my ETH, like my Ethereum address, which is a 240D. Um, it ends with 240D. And if we go to MetaMask, we can verify that we are on the Matic main network and this is still 240D at the end, but we are now using um, the, uh, the Matic main network, the Polygon network, and we can see that we have Matic tokens. What confuses a lot of people is that you use the same address. For instance, if I go to the Ethereum main network, my address still stays the same. It's now just pointing onto a different network, you know, and that's why this Matic tokens that are living here are still Matic tokens in essence. But for it to be used, you need to kind of get it onto the Matic main network. 
So there's a few ways of doing that. You can now, once your Matic is here, you can bridge it over and then you pay Ethereum gas fees, which we want to avoid in totality, right? We do not want to pay any more gas fees. That's why we're using the Polygon network first in the first place. So basically, that's what I want to illustrate there, that there are two different there are two different ones. And that's why when you go to Transact, you can see that they say, which Polygon would you like to buy? Because you're allowed to buy anyone if you want to. I believe that there is a good use case for uh, the, the Matic on the Polygon, of Matic Polygon on the Ethereum network. Uh, use cases such as staking and, and, and doing cool other cool stuff with it. But when you want to use dApps, in the uh, Polygon network, when you want to mint NFTs, you want to buy the Polygon on the Matic network. Carry on, I don't want to talk your ears off. So after you have selected, and just to clarify, you go into Transact, can click buy, buy crypto. And once you're in here, you can then decide to buy some Matic. And if we go there, we can select Matic on the Matic network, which is perfectly fine. And I don't need to buy a lot, but I'm just going to show you. So the minimum is that. So let's make it 150 then. Now, I just need to make sure this is Zar in South Africa. So this is what I have to have to pay with. I, I can use my, my card. And from this point on, you can just click buy. And the processing time on Transact is really, really fast and good. And what you'll do is you'll say, okay, cool, I want to buy. It's going to say, this is the, uh, this is a very important part to enter your address. Where do we need to send that Matic for you? And what you can then basically do is go on the MetaMask. Okay. And then once you, once you in here, you can copy your address, paste your address in here. Okay. And then say buy Matic. We're back. Sorry, I couldn't show you guys the part where I placed in my details. I would love people to steal my money, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> so we're done with the transaction. And basically the process, how it works is you enter your, your credentials, where you live, every, all the necessary stuff they need. Enter email address, the email your code, you verify it. And then basically once you verify that code, it comes back and it actually says okay cool we're going to send a transaction to your bank just to verify that this is, this is your bank account it's like for me it was one rand and dollars it would be a cent then there would be a little code attached to to that transaction six digit code and once you've entered that you will be presented with this screen if everything went well and then here we can see the details now here we can see that it will take only about three minutes to, to do, which is fine. So I will wait, I won't wait, I won't have you guys wait, but I'll wait and then when it, once it's done, we'll check our Matic in our account, right? So if we can remember, we had 5.9727 Matic in our Matic, Matic account, sorry, on the Polygon mainnet, the Matic main network. And that's the one that we wanted to buy, right? So we're just going to wait for this to be done. Once it's done, I'm going to resume the video and I'll show you guys when we've got that Matic. Okay, so the transaction is complete. And actually, when you go to your Matic wallet, uh, this address at the top, I'll leave all the links in the descriptions. You'll be able to see that now our account has been funded and you can see that the balance is now 23. So the same as if we were to go to MetaMask, Remember, we have to be on the Matic main network. You can see that our balance is now 23 Matic on the Polygon network, which it was 5.9 or something, which is good. So it means that we've got Matic and we can now make use of dApps with it. Where we can use it to mint NFTs, especially in my case, because that's what I use the Polygon network for. But there's numerous of cases that you can use the Polygon network. Businesses can build whole blockchains around it and so on, um, their, own, their own product. But for me, that's what I want to use it for, right? And then one last thing, there's two other alternatives that you can use, and that is RAMP. So RAMP is another kind of fiat to crypto 
exchange, which I now showed you how to do it with the Transact, which is also a good one. It just takes a little bit longer with RAMP, but they are reliable. I've done it a lot with, with RAMP. And actually, in fact, sometimes when Transact fails, I try RAMP. So that's basically how I get to buy my Matic with my Fiat. And then the last thing I want to show you is that uh, I talked about, you know, moving funds to Matic another way. And I'm just going to try and do this because I want to explain to you guys everything. Let's move funds to Matic. There we go. All right, cool. So the, the method of transfer is going to be the post bridge, which is like about seven minutes, seven to ten minutes, or they describe it as, as fairly quick. But if you use like a plasma bridge, it takes a very long time to transfer your, your fees, I think seven days. I, I believe the reason is because it's more secure, but let's try this out, right? So we're going to say, okay, cool. We wanna transfer the max Ethereum that we have. We're gonna click on transfer. Just make sure that this is from Ethereum to Matic main network. And then it says, okay, cool. It warns you about stuff. There it actually says seven to eight minutes. Um, okay. And what's not supported there is delegation and, and, and so on. That's why staking is on, on the other post bridge, right? Complete the deposit with $41. We can do that. And let's see. So this is going to be the process. It's going to move this much funds over to the Matic wallet using the post bridge. And here it says, Okay, post security is provided by post validators. It will take approximately three hours when you have transfer funds back to Ethereum. Okay, so it doesn't take that long when it when it goes back to Ethereum from the post bridge, but we don't care because we want to use the Polygon network. So we want to move our funds to the Polygon network, Matic. And now we get to see that we can confirm a transaction. It's going to cost us this much in gas. Do we even have enough? I think so. But check out the ridiculous gas fees. I mean, I'm going to transfer $15, but the gas is $32. I will do this for you guys just to just to show you how it works. But basically, what you just want to um, always keep in mind when doing these things, and I know this was a quite long, a long video regarding buying Matic, but I just really wanted to make sure that you guys buy Matic um, and it exists on the Polygon network, the Polygon Matic network, because otherwise you will have to do this where you have bought some Matic and you can still transfer that that over as well. And um, that's sitting on Ethereum or you can just buy it directly, right? With Ethereum, you can you also have to pay gas fees and with the fiat platforms. I know it's say it's, it's a bit cheaper, but they still do have fees associated with that. Yeah, so sorry, the, the transaction we just did uh, misspoke. When you go to move funds to Matic, you know, I took it that we're going to get Matic tokens, which is not correct. You transfer your Ethereum from the Ethereum network to the Matic network, but as WETH, post WETH, right? Meaning that now if we go back to our to our wallet, we can see that the funds was successfully transferred, $15 of WF, or WF, I don't know how you say that, um, exist on the Polygon network. It's not yet Matic tokens, but now we can convert them into Matic tokens because we can go to a DAP such as QuickSwap. We need to make sure that we are on the Matic network. And then when we click here, we click on Ethereum. And this Ethereum is kind of WETH as I understand it, because this is kind of what we have in the balance, right? And then once we're in here, we can say we want to transfer the max of that to normal Matic token. So we know that our balance is currently 23, but by doing this swap, we're going to get an extra 48. So all we need to do is approve it we'll get a pop-up on metamask to say please approve this i'm going to say yes and then we are going to swap it to matic token so this takes a few seconds um, on the blockchain which is perfect and now i can say swap i want to swap that to matic 
and there we go waiting for confirmation and you see the gas fees guys this is so low this is not even a cent it is it's very low so uh, the transaction has been submitted we can just close it off and now we can just basically wait it should um, should be quick shouldn't take too long uh, there we go i can see there at the top chrome has told me that there was successful stuff happening so if we go back to our wallet i guess we can refresh this and let's see what's happening okay good and now we can see that our balance of matic is 71 matic on the polygon network so if we are on the polygon network there's 71 so just a recap guys um like i said doing it this way is just a much more effort cost gas fees then you have to use adapt to exchange the matic tokens i'm sure there's other ways and if there are please let me know in the comments i would really like to have a look at those too but i like the the way uh, we can buy matic directly to the polygon network with fiat uh, like i've shown you before i hope you like this video and to see more like videos like these please leave a like a comment and subscribe and i'll definitely try and make more informative videos like the ones you just saw have a good day